be accomplished and successful. But in so doing, don't forget your soul. For you can be so successful, and at the end you lose your soul. What profit do you gain from that? All over the world, you are reviving hearts. All over the world, you are reviving spirits. Somewhere in the world, somebody who have backslidden, received desire to go back to meditating in the world. The king of the is here. We are here telling you that Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth, and the only light to that kingdom of heaven. Do you say that it is a lie? Why not question yourself today? Why would a group of grown people who knows what to do, what is wrong, what is right, be on the street over and over saying a false thing? No, it is because it is truth. And that the kingdom of God is here. The end of time is coming nearer and nearer. Jesus Christ will soon return. We call to tell you, come into the kingdom of God before it is too late. We are saying this because if Jesus Christ comes and you are not in the kingdom of heaven, then what a sad time it will be for you. Because after this, You have to find your own way. No longer will you see salvation of Bolabun, but this time you have to fight for it. Why well, if you do not deny Jesus Christ, then you'll be tortured. If you do not deny Jesus Christ, then you'll be oppressed. Well, you cannot buy food, you cannot do any transactions. So why not take the easy way out today, which is to come on to Jesus Christ? Why not take the easy way out today and take the first flight? This flight is to come to Jesus Christ. Come on to him today before this select. This is our encouragement over and over. The kingdom of heaven is here. And the only way to that kingdom is to come to Jesus Christ. Come unto him today before it is too late. Today is the acceptable day of salvation. Don't go waiting for tomorrow. Many have been saying, I will wait for tomorrow and I will never show tomorrow. Why? Because time is promised to no one. It's not promised to me, nor you. Why well, you have the chance, the opportunity, you have the breath of life. Come on to Jesus Christ. Come on to Jesus Christ. Before it is too late. God so love you. That he gave Jesus Christ. That if you will just believe in him. You should not perish, but have everlasting life. We all know this verse, very familiar with this verse. But what do you do with that knowledge? Are you turning away from sin and coming to that son? Or do you still remain in sin? We encourage you to come out of sin today. Come out of sin and come on to Jesus Christ before it is too late. Too late was a cry of many. Whether we are very rich or poor, whether strong and healthy or weak, whether they were male or female, whether they were privileged or oppressed. But many who reject Jesus Christ, it is not too late. 
Why is that so? Because they are passed on. And once you die, it's not just who die most bury. But when you die, as a bless your soul, your spirit will be going. This is why we always say this. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? But at the end, you lose your soul. Is your soul not more important than what you can gain? This is why you say come to Jesus Christ. Because that soul is who you really are. We don't say don't go after being rich. No, be rich. Be accomplished and successful. But in so doing, don't forget your soul. For you can be so successful, and at the end you lose your soul. What profit do you gain from that? Just one day you die, go to hell, and someone else is enjoying all that you have had for. What do you accomplish from that? This is why you said, come on to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not stopping you from having money. In fact, he wants us to have wealth. He's not stopping you from getting cars and houses. It is his desire that you have all these things. But one thing, after you go up on these things, I will forget Jesus Christ. This is what lies dangerous. But why not pursue Jesus Christ? And all the sin will come. And it is written, Say the first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Why not seek first what gives life? And then you enjoy that life. Then you go after the enjoyment of life where you have no life. Seeking first the kingdom of God. For it's only in the kingdom of God there is life. Jesus Christ said that He is the bread of life, He is the living water. If we just realize that from the time we were born, It is true they say that we are living, but the truth is, since the time we were born, we were born dead. Because the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. And we all sin the first shot of the glory of God. No matter how young or old we are, as long as we do not accept Jesus Christ, as long as we are not forgiven, then we are all sin and passion of the glory of God. And if we sin, then we must receive the payment of sin. And the way Jesus sin is death. <laughs> so sure, you may be living and breathing. But there is death in your life. Death is not just dying. But you find death where it marriage is. Whether in health, whether in finances, whether in relationship, we can find death. Where sometimes you work like an elephant, you work so hard, but your body is just evaporating, it is gone in the blink of an eye. You don't know what is happening to your money. You can, you build. And then boom, natural disasters, all what you were got for is destroyed. All this is death fighting you. And all this death is caused because of sin. And the hell is that sin is death. But that's not the end of the story. True that the way of sin is death. But there's a gift. And this Good gift is from God. The gift of God is eternal life. And this is what we are here to present you with. 
the gift of God, and this gift of God is Jesus Christ, who died for you. The gift of God is Jesus Christ, who shed his blood for you. As it is said, that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Long, long, long ago, in the time of Moses, they always had to be a sacrifice, a cattle, a bull, a ram, whatever it was, and that blood would be used to cover the sins of those people at that time. But today it is the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for you and for me. That our blood would not only be covered, but it would be rest. This is what Jesus Christ did when he died on that cross for you. When he died on that cross for me. It was to remove our sins. This is the gift of God. This is a gift of God by his life. That Jesus Christ who died for you offered his blood to erase your sins. To erase my sins. And if there is no sin, then there is no death. Because sin is the cause of death. It is because of sin that we perish. Because it is because of sin that God came into the world. As God told Adam, that the very eat of the fruit, we shall surely die. And that is where sin began. When we say somewhere is sinful, sometimes they think that is judgment. But have you ever asked yourself what? Sin really means sin is just simply disobedience. Whether you are disobeying God by not doing what He says to do, or not doing what He says not to do. When Adam and Eve accepted God, they disobeyed God. That is when sin began. And you and I sin. And because of that, there is death. And unless we turn away from sin, and unless that sin of our own is forgiven and erased, then that death will always be with us. This is what we are here to offer you a solution. And this solution, his name is Jesus Christ, the one who died to erase your sins. So I will not come to Jesus Christ. Right now many of you are sitting because you reject Jesus Christ. And as it is written, that the Father did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world which is you and I. Jesus Christ did not come to condemn you and me. But he came that through him, if we would just repent, that we will have life. But guess what? Many of you are condemned because why? You do not believe in whom God himself sent. So you see, there is salvation is offered to you, but you hold yourself back from saving yourself. Many had to perish because of pride. Why not let go of pride and save your soul? If who you are more important than your life, you know people think about you more important than you need it. Have you ever asked yourself that? Because many do not come to Jesus Christ 
because they worry about what friends may say, what family may say. They worry about tomorrow. They tell me, if you have to die today, and you go to hell, what your family say, will that help you come out of hell? What your friends are saying, would that help you come out of the tortures of hell? Not at all. This is why we say come to Jesus Christ. Because it is only Jesus Christ who can save you from hell. It is only Jesus Christ who died for you that you have life. We are not saying come to us. For we did not die for you, we cannot save you. But we know who can save you. And his name is Jesus Christ. Come on to Jesus Christ. Come on to him today before it is too late. More than for yourself and say that you are young. Strong, you have many years. Anything can happen at any time. You are not in the kingdom of God. We are encouraging you. We are encouraging you. Come on to Jesus Christ today before it is too late. Jesus Christ loves you. Come on to him today before it is too late. Jesus Christ loves you. If he did not love you, then he would not bother dying for you and me. If he did not love us, he would not bother giving up his energy walking from city to city, preaching the word of God, healing the sick, opening the eyes of the blind. He would not bother with that. So today, as you disguise us, open our eyes. So to we have come into the streets to help you wake up from your sleep and realize that the life that you are living, a life with Jesus Christ, is a life to destruction. A life with Jesus Christ. It's a life leading to death. Because Jesus Christ is true life. Jesus Christ alone can bring life. You see, what you do realize is that true you are living but with no life. Just like many who trust me. But today God has placed life and death before you. Blessing and cursing. And God himself encouraged you to choose life. We are encouraging you to choose life. Choose life and live. And to choose life is to choose Jesus Christ. Because when you choose Jesus Christ, you are choosing forgiveness of your sins. And if your sins are forgiven, then death cannot remain. Because death comes because of sin, for the wages of sin is death. And as the kingdom of heaven is here today, well, can't you come into that kingdom before this too late? No need to worry what someone may say. They are not the one who is hoping you to come. It's the kingdom of heaven. It is what Jesus Christ says. 
And Jesus Christ says that you are forgiven. For even on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. If Jesus Christ forgave those, even those who crucify him, what can you do that he has not forgiven you of? If Jesus Christ forgave even to those who betrayed him, you have not met Jesus Christ. What bad thing could you have done that he will not forgive you? Today is a day of salvation. Today is your day of salvation. Tomorrow may not be. But you do not know if you live to see tomorrow. We encourage you to come unto Jesus Christ today before it is too late. Come unto Jesus Christ today before it is too late. You may see me as a broken cassette repeating the same thing over and over. By repeating the truth, only Jesus Christ can save you. Come on to him today before it is too late. Jesus Christ loves you. Why let Jesus Christ love you when you love yourself? That he gave his life for you. And you can let go of some special just for him, for your own life's sake. Show yourself some love and come to Jesus Christ. Show yourself some love in time by coming to Jesus Christ in time. Come unto him before it is too late. Jesus Christ loves you. Come unto him today in Jesus' name.